Hi Fly Fishing Community, I'm in one of the most beautiful parts in the world, I'm in Maldives. It consists of many thousands of little islands with, you know, flats as far as the eye can see. You can fish for bonefish, you can fish for permit, you can fish for triggerfish, you can fish for blue trevally, you can fish for giant trevally. Um, there's also a very good possibilities to do blue, so to fish for tuna, to fish for sailfish, even milkfish can be found, to fish for wahoo, um, so the possibilities are basically endless. Um, what was for me like probably one of the most surprising is like first day in the morning I saw like on the beach there were people casting like just rod and line, like you know we, what we would say tankara, and they were catching small bait fish, so and like later on I went and to see what kind of lure they are using and to my surprise it was actually flying, just feathers, you know, sticking out. So that's for me probably one of, one of the most original fly fishing ways. So um, definitely Maldives have one of the oldest fishing traditions and, you know, maybe even fly fishing, I don't know, but definitely um, the two local fly fishermen that were my hosts, Afu and Adu, uh, they took the modern fly fishing as we know it to the highest levels. Hi, my name is Afu. For 15 years I've fished uh, salt water for it, uh, a lot of fishing techniques. But I think, I believe now fly fishing is the world's most advanced fishing technique. It's the highest end of my fishing career. It's now my way of life. My most memorable moment was uh, getting my first GD on the fly, you know, guided by colleague and my partner, Abdur Wright, as it uh, just passed the flat, as we see it, a few hundred meters, and then we spotted this fish, and I cast on this fish, and I got this GD. This was the most memorable moment. It's me, Andu. Uh, for fly fishing, it's uh, very interesting for me. I love bone fish. Uh, for me, the flat fishing is good uh, all, all other ways because uh, on the flat we see we can find the GTs, we can find triggers and uh, bone fish also sometimes we see permits also. Um, you'll be looked after in the best way possible. Um, the people are friendly, it's a safe place. Uh, you stay in a local charming little hotels to meet the locals, um, to get I think probably the most important thing, a lot of local knowledge, because local knowledge is definitely the key here, what I found. So, um, yeah, like, it's, if it's not already, it definitely will become one of the best fly fishing destinations in the world, uh, through Afu and Adu, that know every corner of it, they know the tides, they know the currents, they know all these movements, that is the key. And if you are either freshwater or saltwater fisherman, I think it should be on your bucket list uh, because it's really worth visiting, especially now with maybe like climate change, you know, the seas may be rising and the Maldives are very, the, it's, they're not very high. So I think like the time to come is now, really now, before it gets overcrowded with fly fishermen.